Hey y'all, in today's video I got a 1957 Chevrolet Cameo pickup I think y'all are going to like from the 2024 Detroit Auto Rama. Let me get the camera turned around we'll check it out. I like it. I really like it. And for the longest time I didn't think white was a color. As a matter of fact I thought it was a lack of color. But then Mr. Rudder, Mike Rudder, came out with this Nova that was white and blue and just changed my mind. And since then there's been a few, not a lot, but a few vehicles done in white or pearl white that I can't imagine would be any better in any other color. That's this 1957 Chevrolet Cameo by Jason Graham's Hot Rods. I mean, all the choices were right. Taste, talent, and money. And there is so much of all of those that goes into one of these builds. But I think that the talent and the money everybody sees, but the taste, unless they miss it, People don't realize how hard it is to make every decision that needs to be made on one of these custom vehicles. It's absolutely insane. Everything, everything, everything is a decision. And this one's been chopped and the cab corners have been reshaped. It's got the shot split window uh, wheels on it. The stance is right. I like how they painted the inside of the doors. I just, man, I just, there's nothing on it I would change. I mean, again, this is one of those trucks that you may be able to build one as cool, but I don't know that you'll ever make one cooler because, I, you know, I don't know what you can do. Supercharged LT5, cleanly installed, beautiful panel work. The aesthetics under there is cool. Custom bedside molding. Just everything. The lines, like I said, the cab has been reshaped. I like what they did there. I like how they used a different uh, clear finish on the bed floor. Not overdone. Look how smooth that is. They reshaped the cab to make it the stock windows fit, flush mounted. So that's a lot of work. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. And again, that paint around that window and the colors and the textures that they chose, just man, perfect. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, and there's nothing, nothing to change on this one. And I think that they probably should have waited and brought it out at Detroit and tried for a grade eight with it. For this year's field, I don't know that it would have been short. I think it would have fit right in with a lot of that. Cool interior. It's kind of got a bench seat, but it's two separate seats. So the back is a bench, but the seats are separate and there is a you know a uh, center console in between it i love that steering wheel style i really dig it i like these cameo trucks to begin with chrome and nickel was done by advanced plating give them a shout out yeah, it's so cool the camera can't even keep up with it it's the little things, it's the details when you start looking at it that just, it's clean, but there's enough detail in it to suck you in and really make you, you know, just to keep your attention for a long time. Because it's one of those vehicles that looks very simple, but again, the more you look at it, it's where they use different textures and different colors and just the way things were done. Some of that's chrome, some of that's nickel. Again, which one gets decided to be done in which finish? They made all the right choices, in my personal opinion. Custom tailgate in the back. I don't know if I mentioned it, the body side molding, they made custom body side molding. And I like that it's sitting on the ground and it's, you know, I mean, I, I appreciate those displays that get them up so you can see underneath and the mirrors and all that, but. They always look the best just sitting flat on the ground. So there you go from the 2024 Detroit Autorama, a very cool 1957 Chevrolet Cameo pickup truck by Jason Graham's Hot Rods. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.